Guys, in this video, I'm going to be working through how to use the ANOVA single factor test along with the Tukey post test that you'll use depending on what your p value is. And to give some background, uh, in this experiment, we had one independent variable, which was our water conditions, and our dependent variable, our output, was the number of zoospores or sporangia that we found on an agar plate. And the whole point of the ANOVA single factor test is that you only have one independent variable. And that one independent variable can be either only temperature or only pH or any other one variable that you're changing. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, the first thing you want to do to run the ANOVA single factor test is if you're using Outlook or Office 2013, you're going to go to File and you're going to go to Options and you want to make sure that you have the add-in for this. So you'll go to Manage and then Excel add-ins and you'll need to make sure you have this check bar, checkbox uh, checked for the Analysis Tool Pack and then you'll click OK. And once you've done that and it's installed the tool pack, what you'll do is you're going to go to the Data tab of Excel. You're going to, going to go to Data Analysis and we're going to be performing the ANOVA single factor test. We're going to click OK. And right here is where you will tell the uh, Excel program what your data is. And you can include your um, labels in this. If you check this little box, leave the alpha at 0 0.5. And you define where you want your output range to be. And so I'm just telling it to put my output here. And you'll click OK. And so the test is going to run. You're going to get a lot of values. and the main value that you care about is just this p-value right here. And so this p-value of 0 0.0188 tells us that there is a 1.8% chance that our null hypothesis was true. And what the null hypothesis is, is an assumption that there was no difference between any of our samples during our experiment. In other words, uh, if our null hypothesis is true, I would see no difference between the control, the bay laurel, or the coast live oak solutions. But what we're finding here is because there's a very low probability, only 1.8%, that means that we're going to reject our null hypothesis. And a common threshold that scientists will go with is P less than 0 0.05. So if you have a less than 5% chance of your null hypothesis being true, then there is a statistically significant difference somewhere in your data. And so because we found a statistically significant difference somewhere in our data, now we will move on and do something called the Tukey post test. And the Tukey post test is commonly done through uh, other statistical programs. Um, and the one that I will show is one of the easiest to use. And it's just a web-based uh, program. And so I'll provide the link to this uh, thing here. But the point is, it, we're going to perform a one-way ANOVA uh, post hoc Tukey test. And this K value here is the number of samples that we have. So if we look at our Excel, we had a control, a bay laurel, and a coast live oak. So we have three samples. And so we're going to let K be three. We're going to uncheck this box saying we're not going to be demoing it. And then we're going to proceed to enter the data. And right here, is pretty straightforward. You're just going to copy and paste in these values. Control C, <laughs> Control V. You can, and this part usually goes pretty fast. And then you'll click this button here telling it to actually calculate the values. And the other thing is you'll need to make sure that you copy paste your data in order so you can remember what these new variables A, B, and C are uh, and what they corresponded to when you pasted in this data. Um, but the main thing, and we'll see here uh, that this website will also give us our p-value again, which again confirms our belief that there was some kind of statistically significant difference within our data set. Um, the, the money part of this website is right here with this uh, thing here. So I'll take a screenshot. And what we get from this screenshot is telling us uh, whether or not there was a statistically significant difference between specific variables. 
So I'm going to paste this in here. And what we want to see, if I can get this all in one page, what this tells us is that if we are comparing our variable A, which is our control, to variable B, which is our Bay Laurel, the p-value for this was 0 0.04. And because that was less than 0 0.05, which was our uh, threshold, we can conclude that there was a statistically significant difference between the number of zoospores between our control and our Bay Laurel. And to make an important note here, this does not say anything about causality. We are only saying that if you were to repeat this experiment again, you have a less than a very small chance of this uh, being not the case in your second experiment. So if you're to do this infinitely many times, um, this is what statistics is referring to. And then again, this A versus C is telling us that is there a statistically significant difference between our control and our coast live oak? And because our p-value is only 0.028, which will deny the null hypothesis that there was no uh, uh, difference between the two, then we can establish that there is a statistically significant difference between both our control and the coast live oak. And then finally, if we compare the bay laurel to the coast live oak, if we wanted to determine if perhaps one of our solutions was a more potent toxin, what this is telling us is that because our p-value is 0 0.899, that's very likely that our null hypothesis is true, that there is no difference between those two variables. So what this Tukey post-test tells us uh, ultimately is that uh, the bay laurel and the coast live oak solutions have a statistically significant difference relative to the control, but they do not have a statistically significant difference relative to each other. Okay, and so um, I'm going to work through one more example if you'd like, and uh, this one's going to go a little bit faster. So just to reiterate, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this data here. I'm going to go to the data tab, click on data analysis, and once this thing loads, looks like Excel's having a hard time today. <laughs> I want to tell the input range with the labels in the first row. What we're going to find here is that our p-value is 0 0.014. And we can copy in our data again to that website, which I'll post a link to and go back. We're going to compute the p-value and again look at the main points here. And so what this Tukey post test tells us is that in this example, when we compared the Sporangia account of our bay laurel extract to our control, there was no statistically significant difference, and this is because the p-value is 0 0.42, which exceeds our 0 0.05 threshold. Therefore, we accept the null hypothesis that there was no statistically significant difference. And in the case of comparing our control to our coast live oak, we found a p-value of 0 0.01, and this would reject the null hypothesis, so we can conclude that there is a statistically significant difference between these two variables. And so this is going to wrap things up for this video. I hope you guys find it useful, and thanks for watching.